What is going on everyone? I'm Adriano and this video is about how to query a governed table in AWS Athena using time travel. In this video, we're going to be covering how to query it by a specific date time as well as by a specific version number. So the data we're going to be working with here is this customer info table. As you can see here, it has six different columns. So if we quickly run a query to show you what's in the existing table, after this query finishes running, as you can see here, there's four records that exist in this table. So in order to query this by a specific time stamp in the past, all we're going to do here is add for system underscore time and then pass in as of timestamp. And now we're going to pass in the date time in UTC of the time that we want to query. So you want to make sure that you're querying this table when the table actually existed. If you query it before the table existed, you're going to get an error. So I'm just going to pass a time after my first initial transaction was created. And I currently did two transactions on this table, one to create three records and the second transaction to create the fourth record. We give this a run. As you can see, I'm only getting three records back instead of four. Great. So we've successfully queried our data in the past. So what if you want to query it by a specific version number of your data set? So in order to do that, again, we're going to pass in select all from customer.info. And now we're going to change the parameter. So instead of using system time, we're going to be using system version. So we're going to add for system underscore version. And now we're going to pass in as of. And now I'm going to pass in the version number of my governed table I want to view. So how do you find this version number? Well, I inserted the data using Python with AWS Data Wrangler library. So let's head over to my Jupyter Notebook to show you how I retrieved it. So I've used the S3 2 parquet method to insert my data. But before I did that, I initiated this transaction and it created a transaction ID. So when I wrote to the table, I committed this transaction and passed it to the transaction ID parameter and I just simply printed out this transaction. And for my first query that I did, it had a different transaction. What we're going to do is use this transaction to query by the specific version number. I'm just going to paste it in here and we're going to give that a run. And as you can see here, we've successfully only got three records back instead of the full four. So, so we've queried it successfully by the system version number. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful and you now know how to query govern tables by time and by specific version numbers. Thanks so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video in my govern table series. See you next time.